Leah Heider, and I've been doing pageants since I was nine years old. Well, I've been doing pageants since I was nine years old. After we got a flyer in the mail to do a pageant called National American Miss, and my mom wasn't really into it at first, but after she saw that, uh, you know, you weren't allowed to wear makeup till you were older, and it was very natural and more about getting girls to be excited about their dreams and ambitions, she decided that it was something that would be beneficial to me. And so I did my first pageant, and I loved it so much. I've been doing it ever since. The thing I remember most about my first pageant was um, after the winner was crowned and I wasn't the winner, um, I remember I came off the stage crying and I found my parents and all of my friends that came to watch me and um, they were all like, why are you crying? You did such a great job for your first time. And I was like, I'm not crying because I didn't win. I was just so excited and happy and I just loved the pageant so much and I knew that I had found my niche, I found my like new love for love of my life, so that's why I was crying. <laughs> in the Miss America system that I've been competing in the last two years now, and for the Miss Ohio's Outstanding Teen Program, uh, there were several phases of competition, and those are interview, talent, swimsuit, onstage question, and formal wear. And um, swimsuit is pretty self-explanatory. You basically are judged on your physical fitness and a stage presentation in a swimsuit. Formal wear is about the same, just more clothing. And talent, of course, is uh, whatever your talent is. I'm a singer, so um, I sing, obviously. <laughs> and then the interview is my favorite part of the competition where the judges can ask you absolutely everything um, from personal questions to platform related questions to current events. My favorite award that I've ever won, um, I won at Miss Ohio 2010 and 2011, and it was the uh, Miss Ohio Community Service Essay Award, and I got to write about the work that I've done with um, my platform, Food Fight, keep, Keeping Stomach School and Food Pantry Stock, and I started all of this work in Athens, actually, at one of the church's soup kitchens, so it was a really special award to be awarded for all the work that I've done in the community and all of my philanthropy, as well as getting to share some of my journalistic talents. There is a lot of cattiness in pageants, and there is a lot of drama between some of the contestants, um, mostly, you know, things being said behind each other's backs and maybe a few dirty looks here and there. But for the most part, I would say the friendships that I've made definitely outshine all of, you know, maybe a few bad encounters that I have had. Um, you know, one of my best friends actually goes to school with me here and is in my sorority, and we met through the pageant first. Um, one of my other good friends, she uh, competes in the pageant too. She lives in New York City, so I get to go visit her in New York. I did that one summer, and she's going to visit me soon. So we keep in touch literally every day, whether it's texting, tweeting, Facebook. We're always talking, so I've made some of my closest friends through pageant. I met Sarah through Miss Ohio preliminary pageant. We were actually at the same table throughout the whole pageant, getting ready together. And we started to talk, and we noticed that we had a lot of things in common because we both went to Ohio University. And after we were talking, we realized that we had a lot of mutual friends, and that we actually ended up in the same sorority later on, we found out. And it's nice to have her there with me because not only is one of my sorority sisters there to compete with me, especially at Miss Ohio, but um, at other pageants too. And it's nice because we can do appearances together and we act like total goofballs <laughs> while still trying to stay professional for our title. And while at Miss Ohio, it's nice to have her there because it's comforting and it takes the stress off because it is a very stressful week because we were actually number 19 and 20 contestants number 19 and 20 for Miss Ohio this year. So since we were always standing together, we were always goofing off and just giggling, and it really took the stress off of competing, which made it a more fun experience.